f of z again is this guy, z minus i over z plus i, and then it's find uh, image of uh, the set of i plus t, where t is real. And I'm just going to write that as i plus the real numbers, like this. Okay. Is this a line or a circle? What do you think? Is it a line or a circle? Right, it doesn't go through the thing that's sent to infinity. It has to be a circle. Yeah? Cool. So we're going to try and use stuff that we know. Okay, so we see that this line is perpendicular to this imaginary line right here, right? So if we look at what the mapping's doing to the imaginary line, so you do f of, say, alpha times i, then what is it? Well, actually, you can just make things easier, right? Let's just pick some points on the imaginary line. So if we just take in f of 0, then what's that? That's equal to just minus 1, as we saw before. If we do f of infinity, that's equal to 1. And if we do f of i, then that's equal to 0. Yeah? And these are all things on the real line. These are all points on the real line. Yeah? So that means that the image of the imaginary line is the real line. Yeah? Because it's a line or a circle, it's obviously going to be a line because it goes through minus i. And the line it is, is the line that goes through these three points, and there's only one, and that's the real line. Yeah? Like two points would be enough. So f of the imaginary line is this real line, yeah? Cool. What else do we know? We see that our horizontal line is cutting perpendicularly through the imaginary line. So in the image, it's a circle that has to do the same thing. So, so this thing has to cut through perpendicularly to this, this, this line here, yeah? Yeah. So if we zoom in right here and see where this point is mapped to, wherever it is, say it's mapped to here, if we look, then it, then it has to cross perpendicularly. Yeah. Cool. So if it crosses perpendicularly, what what do you expect about the circle? What 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 information does that give you about the circle? The center has to be on the real line, right? Otherwise, there'd be an angle, right? So since it crosses perpendicularly, and I can't really draw it well, no, the center has to be on the center has to be on the real line. So f of uh, i plus r is a circle with center on the real line. Cool. So that makes life simpler for us because it's easy to calculate things. And we can just then um, plug in values into this thing and see where they go uh, and use that to, uh, to, to determine what, what the center could possibly be. So um, what convenient values can we put into this? Well, the first convenient value is, is just i itself, right? And that sends us to zero, right? So zero has to be point of the circle. In fact, zero is this point where we, uh, is that correct? Yeah, zero is this point where we cross like this. Zero is this point right here, yeah? Okay, and what else? What are the cool thing? What are the easy values? Let me do the ones I did before. Let's do 
f of 1 plus a. And if we put that in, then we're just going to get uh, uh, 1 over 1 plus 2i like this. And then let's clean that up. So that's the same as 1 minus 2i over 5 itself. Yeah, let's do our complex conjugate stuff. So then we have that. Uh, letting C be the center of the circle we have that the distance of uh, of C to zero is just C squared right so so that's right, it's just c squared. It's going to be the same as the distance of the center away from this point, which is 1 minus 2i over 5 minus c squared. And then this we can do some algebra with. So then this is 1, uh, 1 over 5 minus c, everything squared. And then this thing is just 2 over 5 squared, like this. And what we're looking at is a nice quadratic equation in terms of c, right? So then we're going to have c squared. We are going to have minus 2c over 5, uh, and then plus 1 over 25. And then this thing is going to be 4 over 25, right? And then the c's cancel, and c squared cancel. So then that's going to give us uh, 2 oops, 2c over 5, putting this guy on the other side is equal to 5 over 25, which is 1 over 5, which implies that c is equal to 1 over 2, like this. Huh? So the center of the circle is at 1 over 2, so it's here. And the circle is actually curling the other way. like this, and its radius is also a half. Okay. Cool. Let's... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's it. That's the only thing it can be. Yeah. So that one wasn't, wasn't, wasn't too bad. Let's do another one. So... Part C. Find the image of the circle of radius two around zero. All right. Circle of radius 2 around 0, is it going to be a line or a circle? Come on. Line or circle? It's a circle again. Right? It doesn't, doesn't go through. Right? It's got to definitely be a circle. Let's draw it. Does this. Okay, it has, a, uh, again, the convenient property of cutting through the imaginary axis exactly perpendicular, yeah? Yeah, so the image again, so this point here, uh, 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 so this is 2i and this is minus 2i. So these guys are on the real line and they are going to, they are going to, whichever, which way, whichever way they are around, if this guy is here and this guy is here, I don't know. But but they're going to cross the real line at, at 45 degrees, just like this guy here. No? No? So that means that, what? Well, what's the consequences of that? Yeah.
Yeah, then halfway in between them is the center, and the center is in the real line too. Yeah, so this is a circle, and it's center on real line. And it's exactly halfway between these two points, so we can just find what these two points are. So f of 2i is uh, i over 3i, right, which is 1 over 3. And f of uh, minus 2i is minus 3i. Uh, uh, over minus i, right, which is just equal to 3, right, so we are here at a third, and here we are at 3, get rid of some extra detail. And indeed, halfway between them is the is the actual center. So three minus the third, that's the same as uh, nine over three so minus the third, which is eight over three, right? So that's that's the diameter. So the radius is four over three. So then uh, the center is a third plus this thing, so it's gonna be five over three. So the image of this of this thing, so f of c is the boundary of the ball of radius four over three around five over three, like this. Yeah? Cool. And just to make a little check um, that all the things we've been talking about actually work, let's talk about, let's look at, um, at symmetry. So let's look at zero and infinity, which is symmetrical with respect to this thing. And then uh, f of zero is minus one, right? And f of infinity is one. So, uh, so f, we are centered here at 5 over 3, right? This is where we are, right here. And f of uh, infinity is, is, is like somewhere here, right? So this is f of infinity here at 1. And f of minus infinity, sorry, f of 0 is at minus 1. So if this here is zero, then minus one would be over here, right? And so this is f of um, zero. So these things do indeed look like they are symmetric, right? At least on the, the right line, right? And if if this is correct, then 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 uh, we can actually check that the distances are doing what we expect, right? So what is this distance here? So uh, again, f of infinity is one. So this distance here is what? It's um, it's just two over three. This distance, right? And the radius of the circle is four over three, right? So in principle, we should have that if we take this distance. So if we take 1 over 2 over 3, okay, and then we multiply it by the radius squared, which is 4 over 3, yeah, and uh, we, we add it to the number uh, 5 over 3, which is the center, that Ah, but we're going in this direction, so it's a negative thing. So we take this quantity minus plus 5 over 3, right? 
So if everything is correct, then this thing should be exactly minus one, right? Yeah, because that's 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 symmetry across a circle. Yeah. So let's check if that works out. So then what is this? So then this is minus three over two, and this is sixteen over nine plus five over three. And so we're going to get uh, minus 8 over 3 plus 5 over 3, which is indeed minus 1, right? So this, 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 this symmetry is exactly happening as claimed, yeah?